Ahoy there! I am now a third of the way through the Pirate Project, 30 Days of Pirate Looks. On the first day I wanted to do something simple and classic. Uh, I'm wearing a tuxedo shirt that's kind of unique because the buttons stop midway down, so it makes for a great tunic thing if you just tie a sash around it. Uh, linen vest, uh, I like the skull handkerchief. Pretty much everything I'm wearing I bought at a thrift store and I wear all the time. Uh, the rapier I bought online when I was in high school, I went through a phase of buying cheap swords. And uh, the necklace I bought from a street vendor on Market Street, um, that headscarf I wear all the time around my neck. The second day I wanted to do a more urban pirate look. This is in the lower hate. I just asked a passing couple to take a picture of me and hopped up on this ledge. The linen shorts are thrifted, as is the vest and the buttons, which are all pirate themed. I'm wearing red hoop earrings, those are also from a thrift store. And the shirt is uh, women's section Old Navy a few years ago. And once again, a cheap sword I bought online. The belt is thrifted, it zips into two belts. Broad leather belts, especially if they have studs or hardware or lots of buckles, make great pirate belts. The sash is a scarf I found on the street. Thinner cotton scarves work better for sashes as opposed to like a thicker knit one. Uh, the vest is thrifted, it's black leather, and then the back is silver paisley, which adds a great dandy touch as do the fingerless lace gloves. I got those at a novelty store. They had a little um, trim ruffle around the edge that I cut off because it looked kind of tacky. The pistols are both thrifted. Uh, the one in the foreground is more of a replica style, and then the one in the back is a like, cap gun uh, percussion pistol as opposed to flintlock, um, but they work well together. The necklace, you can't see that well, it's actually a silver Day of the Dead skull I got from a Mexican art store called Polanco and the eye patches from a costume store. This onesie my girlfriend Caitlin bought for me for Christmas. It's a really funny fit. It was really wide, um, and then the sleeves and legs shrunk after it got washed a couple times, but I thought it was perfect for a pirate look. The monkey is also Caitlin's, and the hook is just from a, a Halloween store. A striped beanie makes a great pirate stocking cap if worn correctly. I had gotten a comment from a friend that these were like pirate pinup shots, which I was all for. I just wanted to do something a little bit gnarlier to mix it up, show off my crooked bottom teeth. I traced wrinkles with a black eyeliner pencil, and then the red is a lipstick pencil. Smudged it around and just wanted something quick and dirty. Uh, hoop earrings always add to a pirate look. There's that sword again. The vest I'm wearing, this time without a shirt, is the same one I wore in the first look. The scarf is from a thrift store. I thought green with white polka dots had a great comic book cartoon pirate feel and a drawn-on anchor tattoo. This is a pretty simple look, uh, just black jeans that I wear all the time. Cuffing your pants always makes them look more piratey, and barefoot's a good way to go. These cuffs that you can't see very well are really pretty. They're like a gray pinstripe ruffled material with uh, little cloth-covered buttons. They're by Steam Trunk, and I bought them at Dark Garden Corsetry. The sash is a gray rayon scarf. The t-shirt, maybe I got at Target years ago, cut the sleeves off. You can't see the necklace very well, it's actually a compass rose with a working compass in it. There is yet another sword of mine from back in the day, and a black headscarf. I wanted an action shot, I actually took this with self-timer on a tripod. It had uh, the like two second self-timer, so I would try and jump right on cue. These are all where I didn't quite make it, I would just land as the shutter went. Um, but I got it quite a bit, um, I took about 17 shots, and quite a few of them are good. That one I'm in the air. Um, <laughs> I was just hoping to get one where um, I wasn't at all cut off, like I was fully in the frame. Um, and then the last two I finally got, like that one I love and this one I love. But they just looked a little bit more ninja-y, whereas this one looked the most piratey. I think the sash in the air helps the pirate look. And here we are a week into it. This hat I added the ostrich plumes to, there's two of them in there. I don't even remember where I got the hat from, it's like a cheap synthetic straw hat. It used to be darker black and faded to that color. The unique thing about it is there's wire in the brim, so I actually folded it into that three-corner shape. The earrings are ship's wheels, helms. I got them at Piedmont Boutique on Haight Street. They have a huge wall of cheap earrings, quite a few of which are nautical. Um, the necklace is the same one I wore in the first look. It's from a woman who has a stand on market and I think battery thereabouts, sells Victorian jewelry. This is the leather vest again with the silver paisley back. The shirt's like a raw cotton with pleats in it, so it's perfect for pirate or rent fair looks. I got it from a thrift store. And this is the same scarf that I wore in the first look on my head and wear all the time. Uh, I thought it was high time I do a shot out by the water. This is behind the ferry building and uh, Treasure Island in the background.
and trying out more of a modern pirate look again. The It's a Pirate's Life for Me pin my dad actually found for me at a thrift store. He also found the replica flintlock pistol. I come from a whole line of thrifters. The bandana I've had forever, I don't know where it's from, but you can find that kind of thing at Cheap Thrills in the Upper Haight. Uh, the black and white striped shirt, which is always piratey, that's thrifted, as are the black and white striped hoop earrings. You can see the white piping on that hood, I'm wearing a short sleeve hoodie, that's thrifted as well. The blazers from Women's Section and Old Navy. I love black and white patterns though, and I like the way these ones all play off of each other. The uh, ukulele is actually more of a pirate than I am. It was given to me by a sailor. He had seen me around playing ukulele, had an extra one that needed a new home, and uh, took me over to his ship, went below deck, and came up with this beautiful ukulele. This wall is in Hayes Valley. I was standing outside right at the magic hour, the sun's going down. I'm totally taking that picture myself. My hand is just out of frame. I cropped it a little bit. And onto the thrifted looks. If you haven't seen it and you're interested, I made a whole video on this. You can watch um, that belt around my shoulder. I had actually gotten with the intention of having it on my waist and then realized it was too big. But uh, broad belts, leather, lots of studs make for a great pirate look. Cotton and uh, natural fibers give it a more authentic look. The striped socks are mine. This look didn't quite work for me. Um, the vest is just delightfully hideous. It's like someone put way too much trim on it and then realized that they weren't going to wear it and gave it to a thrift store. And the shirt is uh, way too ruffly. To make this work better, I would probably leave it completely open and have some kind of big gaudy necklace on, <laughs> or um, just the vest, or maybe a simpler shirt with the ugly vest, or no ugly vest with the ugly shirt. Um, this look, again, doesn't quite work for me. It, what it really needs, I think, is a brown three-corner hat, and then it would totally work, and more jewelry. Again, jewelry is always good, and some tall boots would also make it work. But I like how you can find a women's coat and uh, put a belt around it, and it turns into a little bit more of a pirate frock coat. And it was really fun doing this with Miyaka because he put together a look that I probably never would have. I like how kind of gypsy it is, and I love the color tones and color palette in this. There's lots of warm oranges and browns and the, the brass hardware on the belt and the buttons on the coat all tie in really nicely together. Um, it, it has a very gypsy feel to me, which feels right for Miyaka too. I actually, this totally looks like something Miyaka would just wear, and I was gonna say like, Miyaka, you're just wearing what you would wear, and then I realized that I'm just wearing what I would wear too, because I'm being a pirate for 30 days. And another barefoot pirate look. These jeans I patched myself. I'd gotten them at a thrift store years ago and uh, wore them out in the knees, but I really like the way they fit, so I patched them up with this cool fabric. The bracelet a friend gave to me, it's got this cool kind of three-dimensional filigree uh, the belt is thrifted. I love the angled buckle. It's got kind of a rakish thing going on, which adds to the swashbuckler. The cuffed uh, sleeves help with the kind of swashbuckler thing, too. It provides a looseness that's the same effect you get from, like, unbuttoning things a little bit or untucking things. The velvet overshirt is also thrifted. It was cut for a woman with darts for breasts, and I took it in to be flat-chested. The scarf is my dad's. It's a vintage western neckwear got a skull and crossbones ring pulled up around it. There's a safety pin holding it all in place, but if you use like a handkerchief or something thicker, you can totally do this trick and the ring is enough to just hold everything. And then the earrings are little anchors from Piedmont Boutique again. They were probably just like $3. I hope there were some thrifters and aspiring pirates who enjoyed this. Until the next one, yarrr!